So how's everything going with Julius and Tabitha? Genuinely, they're getting along really well. And I think it's, I think it's cute. And um, they are planning their third date, which I'm pretty... I must admit, I'm actually quite excited about that. Was but that I'd... their first kiss? Well, it sounds like... Oh, no, 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 no. They did go on the first date, and he dropped her home because he had to go and see his mum, which is very sweet, really lovely. Um, gave her a quick kiss, and then they had another kiss. And it's, it's, started, it's progressing. This is quite awkward because um, it's great that he's really happy with her, but me and Rube saw him walking down the street hand in hand with another girl. Uh, quite recently, actually. Yeah. I, 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 okay. How long ago was this? Pretty recently. A couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Diggers, has he got anything currently? I knew he'd been, I knew he'd been seeing someone, but I didn't know that he was intertwining the whole thing. But did he actually go and see his mum? <sighs> you put me in such an awkward position. Diggers? No. He did go and see another girl that night, yeah. I think dropping someone off after a first date and going to see another girl is a new level of low. I don't, I don't think that that's particularly respectful. Must admit, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. Tabitha's in love. Yeah. Tabitha <laughs> has what one may say is the lady horn. No, really? <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. It's a good thing. I'm having a great time. Perfect. It's perfect. How do you, how do you feel about it? Nice. I think he's really fit. I think he's a mega nice guy. Like, nice guy. Well, he's in, like, the nice guy bracket, which I don't think is a bad thing, necessarily. And I'm kind of... I'm open to it. I'm open to whatever open might that. happen or might not happen or whatever. Don't say too much or yeah. get too excited. <laughs> I know. What's wrong with you? You swallowed a prune. Awkward situation. Oh, God, What's what happened? now? He's been seeing a girl and apparently it's... I only found out today. How serious? I don't know, but apparently Reza and Ruby saw them holding hands in the last couple of days. No, can I just say, this is actually really fucking weird because he's the one that's been like, I want to be an open book, I'm not looking for anything serious, Hang on. I'm really concentrating on myself right now. He also <laughs> lunges in and kisses me. Do you think that was a lie then about no, him get, I, saying that he I had to go help his sick mother? What? I don't oh, know. No, oh, my God! <laughs> said he's going to see his sick mother, he went to go and see another girl. Shut the f up. Also, I was with you. He dropped me off. Yeah, he here. dropped you off and gave you a kiss on the lips. He gave and me said, a kiss I'm on the lips. I'm going to see my mother. What the actual f? I'm pissed off. I'm, um, am I right to be pissed off? Yes. Well, yes, well. of course okay, you are. Thank you. If this was me a year ago, I'd be crying in bed. This, me right now, I am fuming. I am so cross. I cannot and will not be fed over. I feel there's like a lot that needs to be said. Uh, would you like to go or should I? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. So, when we had dinner, we, I mean, I had a good time. You told me you had a good time. Mm. You got out of the car, you gave me a kiss, you came upstairs, you said you were going to go and tend to your sick mother, which I think is just f***ing sick, and then go and pick up another girl, take her back to the place where we had just had our date, where the candles were lit and there were flowers everywhere and it was lovely. What happened? Firstly, I'm really sorry for lying to you. Mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine who I'd previously been romantic with, who needed me that night, right? She needed you She needed night. me that night. So your mum didn't need you? If she turned up and you were there, that would have been horrible for both of you. But also, no one needs so, someone that much, and surely you should have just been like, no, she I'm needed, actually she, It was super personal when she needed me. She was actually walking the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't know what to do. When I was offering you another glass of wine, and she was saying, I need you desperately, and I had lied to you, and I'm sorry I mean, for lying to you. I I've been there when it's been 11 p.m. at night, and I text a guy saying, a I need shit, you desperately. There, there are a lot of blokes out there, and I didn't do this to be uh, she came over because she needed me. I, in my I, head, I, I, I was, still I thought I was doing the right thing, and I'm sorry. In my head, what I think is that you got a call from someone prettier and went, i got to get rid of tabs now because I can f*** this other girl. I lied to protect you, and I shouldn't have done. I just can't be bothered to... I literally can't be bothered. There's nothing more to say. OK. Um, have a nice day, guys. I should let you out. Stay here.